Hey guys, you're here checking out the Walkie Dog Leash Review. This is a system that allows you to ride bike safely with your dog. It uses this pole here, it weighs one pound, it connects to your bike via this clamp. To see how to install the uh, Walkie Dog Leash, click here for the installation video. I found that it's easiest to connect the dog with a harness on the top of the dog's back. I'm using the Kakadu Pet Empire Tracks harness for review on that, click here. But that works really well. It connects on the top of the back as opposed to the neck. The other great thing about this is it's a actual leash. When you get to your destination with your dog and you need a leash, instead of bringing one, you can just pop this off and then you can walk around with your dog. And then when you guys want ready to go home, open this up, pop it back on. Works great. There's three springs in this pole that adjust the length of the leash. I'll show you how to do that in the review. Uh, the longer the leash you want, the more springs you take out. It's a great leash. It's 50 bucks on Amazon. There's a link in the description below to purchase it there. Highly suggest it. Hope you enjoy the rest of the review. It comes with the walkie dog leash itself, the adjustable jaw clamp, a adjustable wrench that's used to adjust the screws on the jaws clamp. Very easy to install the walkie dog. This is a clamp here. Put this on the bike somewhere. Also, before you tighten this down for good, you'll want to make sure that your legs are able to go around and not hit the um, actual walkie dog leash itself. You also want to tilt it back about 20 degrees. You don't want it straight out here because it's going to hit your leg. You just kind of want it back a little bit and it's easier for the dog to run that way. Really easy to take the leash on and off. Just simply pull back this part here and take it off. And you'll see here when you pull it back, there's a couple locking mechanisms in there that are able to lock. When you want to put the leash back on, just simply pull it back and wait for it to lock into place. Before you get started riding bike with your dog, I would make sure your dog is used to it. Don't run your dog every day. Make sure it's a breed that can run. I run Stella maybe three days a week, never back-to-back -back days. And then we're slowly building up uh, more endurance and stamina to, so she can go farther. When I started with Stella, we just rode around in my backyard, which is fenced in, just to get her used to it. Stella also loves to chase squirrels, rabbits, anything near the bike path. I haven't had an issue with her pulling me over yet, but sometimes she does tug to one side, so you just gotta be prepared for that. Also, when I train Stella on leash training, I always have her on my right side when we go for walks. That made it a lot easier, and that's why I put the leash on the right side of my bike. So when I go to connect Stella on the standard length of leash that it came with, it's already stretching it. So what I need to do is unscrew this cap, take out a couple, one or two springs, and then attach to make this leash longer. The first thing you need to do to lengthen the leash is to unscrew this cap and expose the three springs. Okay, the next thing you want to do is push this rope up over this clasp and then hold on to that. And then all you're going to do is pull this brass colored piece off, hold on to that. And then I'm going to take two springs out. I talked to a buddy that's got a dog similar size and that seemed to work for him. And then you're just simply going to grab that brass piece, put that back on, and then connect the attachment that attaches to your dog's collar and you're good to go. And now you can see I've lengthened this leash quite a bit. So here's some footage I've taken of Stella and I riding on the Greenway in Minneapolis. I've got a couple different angles. Real nice fall day here we wanted to take out and enjoy. It's unseasonably warm. But as you can see, she has no problem riding next to it. Doesn't worry about bikers. We do stay to the right on each of uh, the paths just to make sure we can allow the faster bikers to go by us. But she doesn't have any issue with it. She's not scared of other bikers. The more she does it, the easier it gets for her. Again, it's the Walkie Dog Leash. It's 50 bucks on Amazon. It's a great way to ride your bike with your dog safely. There is a little bit of a learning curve, so just take your time with your dog. Make sure not to overrun your dog, and make sure your dog is fit to ride bike with you. Also, doubles as a leash. Easy on, easy off. I get stopped a lot when I'm riding bike, and people ask me what this is, and I tell them, and they're all excited about it because I see a lot of people still just holding their dog with their leash and that's not very safe so this is the safest way I've seen to ride bike with the dog it's 50 bucks on Amazon it'll be there'll be a link in the description below to purchase it it'll also be available in my Amazon a store at bird knows best in the dog tech section hope you enjoyed the review if you like this video be sure to subscribe to my channel check out my other videos and until next time Stella and I say good car high five yeah good girl <laughs> <laughs>